Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back to my channel. This is Tamur, and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. And today I want to talk about a topic which came into my mind when I was talking to one of my friends a few days back. And he unfortunately was like a little bit frustrated in his career, right? And he was saying that he made a mistake by coming into cybersecurity. I mean, that the, his whole point was, I think I chose the wrong career. Or what do I do now? And this is a statement sometimes I hear a lot from people, you know, who didn't, who, who like who are making mistakes in their cybersecurity career and they become frustrated and demotivated, right? Because they feel their career is not moving forward no matter how hard they work. And this is true for a lot of people in cybersecurity. If you make certain mistakes, your career will not move forward and you will feel demotivated and you will feel that you made a mistake by coming into cybersecurity, right? And this can happen to you whether you're new or experienced, right? So in this video, I wanna talk about like uh, the five most common issues I see, uh, like the most common career mistakes or career problems I see cybersecurity professionals falling into and how to avoid them. So let's get started. If you're also, if you're new to this channel, please do like and subscribe to this channel and share this video. That will really help the channel to go. Okay. So the first problem I see and the first mistake I see is certification overload. If you are familiar with that, basically this is the number one problem I see that people just, just do certification after certification. They do the CISA, they do the CISSP, they do the CRISC, right? And they keep doing cert after cert and they don't get anything back. They're not getting promoted. They're not getting a new job. And also these certifications cost quite a bit. A lot of time goes and annual annual charges are also there, right? Annual recurring charges, they can cause like a dent in your wallet. So becoming like a certification factory is one of the easiest ways to get burned out in cybersecurity. So please do not make this mistake of becoming a certification factory without gaining practical hands-on experience. Your resume will also look unbalanced. It will just look strong on paper, but it won't have any practical depth because your experience will be less, your certification list will be longer. So what to do? You need to balance certifications with real world experience. So pair it with hands-on experience. Do projects which demonstrate your ability that you can actually apply that book knowledge in a real world setting, right? So if you've obtained like a, a beginner certification like the CompTIA Security Plus, now do internships, do volunteer work, lab projects, go on websites like Fiverr or Upwork if you don't have a job and try to get that hands-on experience. So that was number one, which is uh, becoming a certification factory. Uh, avoiding that, don't become a certification factory. Uh, number two is not learning the language of the business. And this can be a big career problem as you move up. Technical skills will get you into the cybersecurity industry, right? But business and communication skills will keep you there. You don't know how many people I know, they cannot properly communicate, give a presentation, do public speaking, write reports, right? I hate to tell you this, as you move up the ladder in cybersecurity, you will be spending more time interacting with non-technical people than technical people. The more you move up, that's why the majority of the people CISOs interact with, they are non-technical, right? If you are not able to explain complex cybersecurity stuff in a simple language that business can understand, you're going to have a huge problem. So, and this will become a career roadblock also for you. So what to do? Simply put, you need to learn the language of the business, right? Familiarize, familiarize yourself with business concepts like risk management, return on investment, how to do budgeting, right? Understand the business impact of cybersecurity decisions. Practice report writing. There are many, many simple workshops, YouTube videos you can see to understand budgeting works, how return on investment works, what are business terms. Easily you can at least get a basic level understanding. Okay, that was number two, not speaking the language of the business. Number three is not niching down. Now there are a lot of paths in cybersecurity. I've made many, many videos on that. Do not fall into the trap of becoming like a journalist, which is somebody who knows a little bit of everything. So you're not the go-to guy. People want to people want the guy who's the expert, who knows the expert on PCI DSS or cloud security, not the guy who knows a little bit about everything. If you try to learn every aspect of cybersecurity without focusing, without niching down, that can prevent you becoming an expert and it will make it harder for you to stand out in a crowded job market, right? The cybersecurity is very, very fast. So you have so many areas to choose from, like AI, machine learning, cloud security, internet of things, specialize in one of these areas. So choose a specialization, find out what interests you, 
and invest time in gaining like deep knowledge on that issue. And then you can create a portfolio, right? You can highlight your work by making YouTube videos or writing about it or creating projects. Many, many ways about uh, many, many, many ways are available for doing that. Okay. Number four, the career problem I see is people becoming overwhelmed. So cyber security, if you want to be relaxed, cyber security is the wrong industry for you. If you're not a fan of constant learning and upskilling, the landscape keeps changing all the time. Remember that. And this can become like, a, this can leave you feeling overwhelmed. You don't know what to do because you feel you can't keep up with the latest trends, tools and techniques. Things are happening, things are changing so fast. As you get older, this becomes more and more difficult. If you're in your 20s, 30s, it's easier. But so what to do? Well, you need to create a learning plan to stay current without being underwhelmed. Develop a structured learning plan. Dedicate time each week. Dedicate a time, block a time to read about the latest industry blogs, white papers from SANS, from NIST, right? Attend, actually attend cyber security conferences like DEF CON, Black Hat, right? And they will give you a lot of insights. Please do not be one of those guys who's just working nine to five and you'll get that tunnel vision. You won't be able to see what's happening in the industry. And the last, uh, number fifth, the biggest career problem and mistake I see is a lack of networking and mentorship. Not having a network can be a serious problem if you want to explore more career options. Like if, uh, God forbid, something happens to your job, you get fired or something like that, it can be a major, massive problem because at that time, people are running around, updating their LinkedIn, putting open to work on their LinkedIn, trying to find people to talk to because you don't have a network, right? So attend industry events and meetings, get involved in local cybersecurity meetings, seek out a mentor, right? Mentorship is valuable for career growth and mentor can give you so much valuable advice. So don't hesitate to reach out to experienced people on LinkedIn, activate in like online communities, like blog posts, all of this will help your network to grow. So these were a some, few of the things I wanted to talk about to give you an idea. I hope this helped you out. And by addressing these challenges, you can position yourself for long-term success in cybersecurity. I also have a course on these sort of things, how you can do this, how you can create your brand, how can you can create your network. I link it below, so do check that out. But I hope this gave you a better idea. By avoiding these problems, you will have a very long and successful career in cybersecurity. So I hope this was useful to you. Please do like and subscribe to this channel. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.